Today we're going to talk about three things that you should do following a serious injury in a car crash. I'm talking today not just to an injured person but to their family members too because more often than not the injured person isn't in any condition to do these sorts of things but the family members are and there are some three simple things that can be done that will help protect the interests of your injured loved one. Stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to provide a bonus tip about one thing not to do following a serious injury in a car crash. So let's get to it. It's the phone call that no one ever wants to get. It's the police calling, telling you that your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother have been seriously hurt in a car crash or in a hospital. You drive to the hospital and through the next number of emotional days, you sit there in the hospital and you feel helpless. But there are some things that you can do beyond supporting your family member that will protect their interests sometime in the future. Here's number one. Collect all the insurance documents. Things like private disability insurance, extended health care coverage through employers, short-term disability uh, policies, long-term disability policies, are all the types of insurance related documents that should be collected in those early days. Why? Because believe it or not, uh, hospitals discharge people from, ho from the hospital very quickly and we want all of those insurance benefits in place for when the person returns home. So get on that early and get the ball rolling by collecting all the documents. Tip number two keep notes and a diary of what's going on each day. You may think you don't want to record this sort of thing, but the reality is for the purposes of future potential litigation, your memories are going to fade and these emotional days are all going to blur together. And by keeping notes and a diary of what's going on, what people have said, they'll in the future be able to trigger your memory. Things like medications, surgeries, what the doctors have said, what the nurses have said, and most importantly, how your family member is feeling throughout each, of, each and every day and what they're going through will help paint a picture of these early difficult days sometime in the future when your memory's faded. Tip number three, and this is probably the most important tip of all three, and that is to take photographs of the injury when the person's in hospital. I know it may, be, may seem kind of morbid to take photographs of your injured loved one in the hospital, but the reality is that those photographs in any future litigation down the road will tell a powerful story of the challenges that your loved ones faced and will bring to life the difficulties that they've had. So take photographs and paint a picture for the future. Now to the bonus tip. One thing not to do. Believe it or not, insurance adjusters from the other vehicle, that is the vehicle that hit your loved one, may attempt to contact you by a phone, by an email, by a Facebook, and try and get information from you. They may come across as sincere and wanting to help. They may say, gosh, my insured person was clearly at fault here. They may even imply that there should be a payment of money being made. But let me be clear, these folks are just doing their jobs, but their jobs are not to protect the interests of your injured loved one. Their jobs are to protect the interests of their insured person, that other driver. So the best thing to do is not to speak to them and frankly, call a really good personal injury lawyer if that's happening. So there you have it, the three tips that you should follow following a serious injury or crash where your family members uh, in a hospital and you're waiting around thinking is there anything else I can do. Thanks for watching. We're grateful for all of our social media followers. If you like this video please click like in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and share it with your friends and family. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.